Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Good morning. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, our Virgin, all the angels and the saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth, people of peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us, for you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. <clears throat> o God, Creator of all things, who laid down the, for the human race the law of work, graciously grant that, by the example of Saint Joseph and under his patronage, we may complete the works you set us do, to do, and attain the rewards you promise. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Genesis. God said, Let us make a man in our image, after our likeness. Let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, the birds of the air, and the cattle, and over all the wild animals, and all the creatures that crawl on the ground. God created a man in his image. In the divine image he created him. Male and female he created them. God blessed them, saying, Be fertile and multiply. Fill the earth and subdue it. Have dominion over the fish of the sea, the birds of the air, and all the living things that move on the earth. God also said, See, I give you every seed bearing plant all over the earth, and every tree that has seed bearing fruit on it to be your food and all the animals of the land, all the birds of the air, and all the living creatures that crawl on the ground. I give all the green plants for food, and so it happened. God looked and everything he made, and he found it very good. Evening came, and the morning followed the sixth day. Thus the heavens and the earth and all their array were completed, since on the Seventh day, God was finished with the work he had been doing. God rested on the seventh day from all the work he had undertaken. So God blessed the seventh day and made it holy, because on it he rested from all the work he had done in creation. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm Lord, give success to the work of our hands. Lord, give success to the work of our hands. Before the mountains were begotten, and the earth and the world were brought forth, from everlasting to everlasting, you are God. Lord, give success to the work of our hands. You turn men back to dust, saying, Return, O children of men, 
for a thousand years in your sight or as yesterday now that it is past or as a watch of the night lord give success to the work of our hands teach us to number our days aright that we may gain wisdom of heart return o lord how long have pity on your servants lord give success to the work of our hands fill us at daybreak with your kindness that we may shout for joy and gladness all our days let your work be seen by your servants and your glory by their children lord give success to the work of our hands alleluia alleluia blessed be the lord day by day god our salvation who bears our burdens alleluia alleluia Almighty God, cleanse my heart and my lips that I may boldly proclaim your holy gospel. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the holy gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus came to his native place and taught the people in their synagogue. They were astonished and said, Where did this man get such wisdom and mighty deeds? Is he not the carpenter's son? Is not his mother named Mary, and his brothers James, Joseph, Simon, and Judas? Are not his sisters all with us? Where did this man get all this? And they took offense at him. But Jesus said to them, A prophet is not without honor, except in his native place and in his own house. And he did not work many mighty deeds there because of their lack of faith. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, and the words of the Gospel will forgive our sins. Today we celebrate the feast of Saint Joseph, the worker. Saint Joseph was the foster father of our Lord Jesus Christ and the husband of Mary, mother of Jesus. Saint Joseph was a very silent person in the Gospel because there isn't much written about him. In the Gospel of Luke, there is only one sentence about Saint Joseph. He was a just a man. That is all written about him. But Saint Joseph cared for his family. Saint Joseph faithfully loved and cared for Jesus and also his mother Mary, Joseph, wife of Joseph. He was a faithful husband, faithful foster father. When Pope Leo the Thirteenth wanted to name him a saint as the patron saint of the universal church. He looked all the great saints in the church. He studied their holy lives and finally came up with one name that was the name of Joseph. When asked why the Holy Father chose Saint Joseph as the patron saint of the universal church, this was the Pope's reply. If God the Father entrusted the life of Jesus and Mary in the care of Saint Joseph, it is only fitting that we also entrust the universal church in his care. So Joseph was a faithful husband, a faithful foster father. And he fulfilled his mission faithfully, and God blessed him abundantly. And that is why we honor Saint Joseph, not only as the husband of Mary and the foster father of Jesus, he is also the patron saint of all workers, because he every day worked hard in order to support the Holy Family. So that is the lesson we learn from Joseph. He faithfully fulfilled his mission and trusted to him by the 
the God of the Father. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us pray. As we stand before the Lord, let us place our needs, our prayers before Him, and ask for His blessing. Let us pray for our Holy Father, Pope Francis, all bishops, priests, religious, and laity, that they may always follow Jesus, listen to his teachings faithfully, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for peace throughout the world, in our own homes, in our homeland, and also in all those places torn by war and violence, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us remember in a special way all those who are sick and suffering, our own loved ones in our families and the members of our parish community, that they may experience the healing presence of Jesus in their pains and sufferings and get well from their illness. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us keep in silence our own intentions and also the intention of this Mass. This Mass is being offered as a Mass of thanksgiving for blessings from Mary S. Agony. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, hear these prayers of your faithful people. Bless us and help us to follow you and imitate your love and goodness in our hearts. We ask thee through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are ye, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, and the work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Bless be God forever. By the mystery of this mort and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. <clears throat> Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit, the wine, and the work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Bless be God forever. With a humble spirit and a contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord. And may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash me, Lord, from my iniquity. Cleanse me from my sin. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, to the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at my hand for the praise and the glory of his name, for our good and the good of his holy church. O oh God, fount of all mercy, look upon our offerings which we bring before your majesty in commemoration of Saint Joseph and mercifully grant that the gifts we offer may become the means of protection for those who call upon you through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts, we lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation. All ways sent everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, and on the commemoration of Saint Joseph, to give you fitting praise, to glorify you and to bless you. For this just man was given by you as spouse to the Virgin Mother of God and set as a wise and a faithful servant in charge of your household, to watch like a father over your only begotten Son, who was conceived by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, our Lord Jesus Christ. Through him, the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, and the powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with the exaltation. May our voices be praised 
join with the deers in humble praise as we acclaim holy 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 lord god of hosts heaven and earth are full of your glory hosanna in the highest blessed is he who comes in the name of the lord hosanna in the highest you are indeed holy o lord the font of all holiness Make holy, therefore, these gifts be prayed by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and he entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and the eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking the body and the blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Ray Subit, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. 
Lord Jesus Christ, who said you are apostles, peace I give you. My peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, the gracious, the grant for peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always and with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. May this mingling of the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring eternal life to us who receive it. May the receiving of your body and the blood of Lord Jesus Christ not bring me the judgment and the condemnation, but to your loving mercy. Be for me protection, might, and body, and healing. Amen. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. <clears throat> behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body and the blood of Christ bring us to everlasting life. Amen. of spiritual communion, my Jesus. I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you in my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Now permit me to be separated from you. Amen. The communion song, whatever you do in word or deed, do everything in the name of the Lord, giving thanks to God through him. Alleluia, alleluia. Let us pray. Having fed upon heavenly delights, we humbly ask you, O Lord, that by St. Joseph's example, cherishing in our hearts the signs of your love, we may ever enjoy the fruits of perpetual peace through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. This Mass is ended now. Let us go in peace and love to serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thank you and have a safe day and happy feast of St. Joseph. For our processional, we will sing the second verse of The Strife is Over, song number 459.
Let's shout some praise. 